Hi friends. Welcome to Miss Lori's craft room. I haven't made a tutorial for a while and I've been seeing people make these giant flowers and so I wanted to put my own spin on it. So here we go. So here is my giant flower. You cannot really tell how big it is because it's the camera is not far enough away, but it measures more than 20 inches by 20 inches. So it's huge and it's going to look so beautiful on my mantle. So I'm going to set this aside. So, okay, today we're going to use our Cricut and water. So the things you're going to need are seven large petals. This one, I cut it as big as I could get on a 12 by 12 mat. And then you're going to need, I use seven of this size, and then I use seven of the next size down. And then I used six or seven of the next size. And then I think I'll use about five of the next size. Okay. So what I did was I used my, this is my flower that I drew and it's my file that you can buy at my store. Um, I can't share the link because um, then I won't be able to post this on any of the Facebook pages. So, but basically what I did was I started out cutting them off with my Cricut, but because it needs so many, it was taking forever. So for the second one, what I did was I took this, this pattern and I put it on the paper and I just followed with my scissors and I could stack three or four pieces of cardstock on top of each other. So I'll show you what I did. Let me just show you so you can understand. So I stacked like four pieces of 12 by 12 paper, put this on here, and then I just free hand cut around following the paper. And I did that with all of them and it was so much faster. You know, I love my Cricut, but it took forever so to cut this many petals out. Um, so um, in order to get this great shape, we're just going to do what I generally do. And we're going to, so what you need today, you need water, some containers to dry them in. I dry mine in a microwave. You need ink. This is close to my heart, but you can use any ink of your choice. You can just use the ink by itself, or I used a dauber. And then I also went, I'll show you at the end what I did at the end. And let's see, hot glue. And oh yes, you need a square. Okay. So some people would say use a circle, but I just used a square. So I just cut a big square that's about nine inches by nine inches. Okay. So some of you maybe have not seen my tutorials, so I will show you. The reason we have different size bowls is because we have different size flowers, petals. So like this one, I got wet and then I shoved it in the small bowl, see, and that crinkled it and then I dried it. Okay. So it was kind of hard to find a thing that was big enough to fit this. So what I do is I'm just going to put it in here. And this is, oh, this cardstock came from Joann's. It's um, in their packages. And I think it's $4.99 regular, and you get 25 sheets. So you can make a couple flowers with that. So I'm just going to get it a little wet. Shake off the excess water. Okay, so I just found, I looked around and found something that I could use to mold it, okay? So I, there's no rhyme or reason for this. See how I just did that? Okay, so now I'm going to go and I'm going to stick it in my microwave. Now, it took about, it takes about two minutes, but don't microwave it for that long in one shot or you will start a fire. And I can guarantee you that you will start a fire if you do it more than just like a minute and 30 seconds. It really depends on your microwave, okay? So, and to save time, I did not, cannot bore you with inking all these things. So here's a big one. I'm going to show you how to ink. Those of you, a lot of you know how to do this already. So what I did was I inked the edges and I also inked like all the crevice, all the little 
So like where it's folded, and if it's like if the leaf, if the petal was folded in, I ink the back of it, and I ink the crevice, I ink all the sides. And you don't have to be super careful with this, because it's a flower, and it's once it's together, it'll look really cool. So I just do, okay. So and on this one, I'm going to do the back too because it's curled over. Okay. You can hear my microwave going back there. So you've got to do this to all the petals, okay? So on this great big flower, I might do, uh, go change it up and do maybe eight or nine petals. I felt like it could have handled a little bit more. But I'd already cut all these, and so that's this is going to be okay. So I got to change the microwave. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it out of the bowl and just put it in the microwave like this, and microwave it for like another 30 seconds. Okay, and that might not even get it completely dry. So, but you just have to do it slowly because you do not want a fire. Okay. So, let's start assembly. Now, some of the flowers tutorials I've seen, they make a cut and then they overlap them. But don't do that with this because they're already curled up. You don't need to do that, okay? So, um, let's start. So, just get your hot glue gun. And what you're going to do is you're just going to start, and I started, if you want a giant flower like mine, you're going to start out, okay? So I just kind of uh, glued mine kind of opposite each other just to get a base going. And on this, I'm also going to go back here and glue that corner down because it gives it a little more stability. All right, so I need to go ahead and ink this one because this is part of, it's not exactly perfectly dry, but that's okay. It'll dry. It'll evaporate. All right. And if you want to like uncurl it, you can, but I don't. That's the whole point of drying it in the microwave like that. Is it it gives it texture and with hardly any effort. It's so cool. Because, you know, paper is made with water and pulp and so you can mold it. Okay, so that's all inked. Put that away bring our thing back. Okay, so now I'm going to start overlapping. And you'll can kind of see why I mean that you need to have, that you probably should get maybe nine of these, but since we only did seven for this tutorial, that's what we're going to do because I only made seven for this one. See, I'm just putting a whole bunch of glue like that. I'm just spreading them out and just making them look nice. Add a glue, get some more glue in here. All right. So, um, see, you can kind of see that it could handle a little more. So I'm just going to put this one right here. I'm actually going to come in and put this one underneath here. Okay. You can see I am not real careful. Now this one, I want to fill in this gap right here. So I'm going to come in and put it here. Okay, and it's gluing down my paper. So you can see how it probably could handle, maybe handle another petal over here, maybe over here. But because we are already have everything ready, we're just going to go with it, okay? Okay, so now you're going to get your next size. And to make it look natural, you glue, you're going to glue like in between. So like where these, sorry guys, it's kind of hard to make this work and it's so gigantic. So like between these two petals right here, you glue, you're going to glue this one. Okay. Okay. So put a lot of glue. And 
I'm just going to do the same thing you did with the big ones. Except we're just going to go around in a circle. And you might see where you might need to like this one to get it to kind of sit back farther and go it down a little more back there. This is just so fun. I love this. It's so exciting. I can't wait. Pretty soon we're going to have a new house and we're going to do a wall that is um, going to be a distressed wood wall. And I'm going to put shelves and I'm going to put these on the shelves. Okay, so this actually looks good. There's just six. So I'm going to leave it. You could put this other one in here. And in fact, I probably will just put it. You could probably stop, but I already have this one. Oh, I actually have two more. I have another one. So we're going to go ahead and use them all then. So it looks like you could have just used five on that. But we're just going to use them all since I cut them. Okay, now we're going to do the next size. Get them out of my bag here. And you can see how it's just getting fuller and fuller and fuller and fuller. I hope you can see it. <laughs> it doesn't it look real. It's so gorgeous. I just love it. So, you know, I love the ones that people are doing, but you know me, I got to have to go and try to make it even better. I'm such a show off and I like to make put my own stamp on it. Now you can use any flower petal for this, okay? You could even just cut it by hand. But of course I love my Cricut and I'm going to do everything I can with my Cricut. Okay, so you can see how I'm just filling this in, just overlapping the petals. Now if you make a mistake you can use your heat gun and just pull it up and it'll just, it's so, hot glue is pretty forgiving, especially on paper. Okay, and so I'm just building layer upon layer upon layer. So, let's see. Now just a little quick tip for those of you that might not know, that if you have all these strings, because if you're using hot glue, you know you're going to have strings. You can use your, your, I use my heat gun because I have one, but if you don't have a heat gun, you can use your hair dryer to melt all those strings and they'll disappear. And it's wonderful. It's a lifesaver. Okay, so I'm just kind of happy to tuck these in here now. You can see it's building a beautiful center. So let's see, I think that is all of those. Okay, so now we have the very center. As you can see, it takes a lot of room to make these. It's, they're gigantic. Okay, so here we go. We're just going to do the very center. And you want them to cup in. You want them to form the center. To me, this looks like a big, giant magnolia, and I love it. I just think it's so beautiful. Now, I don't really think you need seven of these middle centers. I really don't because, but you can do as many as you want, okay? That's the fun thing about creating and crafting is make it your own, okay? It's fine to copy people. But put your own twist on it if you can. Oh, look, I had another big giant one. But um, I probably won't use that one. Let's see. Tuck that one in somewhere. Yeah, maybe we will. I'll just tuck it in there. Oops, sorry. Off camera. Sorry, guys. Get excited. Okay, so I found an extra big one, so I just tucked it in there. And I think I'm really happy with this. So let's see if I put another one in there. Is it going to be, you know, it just does not need another one. So I'm just going to leave it. So there is, it is. And um, let me see if I can get the camera farther away so that we can see how big it really is. Oops. It is absolutely gigantic. So let's put it up here. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry guys, my camera work is terrible. Can you see that, how big it is? 
Aaron, come here. So I have two of these now because I have the sample. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm going to have you hold this so they can see how big it is. Okay. Go back, back up so they can see. Oh, that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Put it down so they can see your face. There's my cute son. All right. See how big it is? It's huge. It's gigantic. So, okay. So one more thing I'm going to show you real quick is sorry guys boy this is not a good video okay so go ahead and put it down for you okay so I you can leave it this soft like this but I want to give it a little bit more depth so I'm gonna take the reason I use um, whatever this is called a, a dauber is because it makes it softer so you can really see how soft and it's really much softer look so I want to give this more depth. And so I'm just going to take the pad just like this and I'm just going to catch the edges. Okay. And you're going to see that's going to add depth to it. And this will dry dark lighter. Okay. So it's been super dark right now, but as it dries, it will, it's going to, it'll lessen. Okay. It's still going to be dark. So if you don't want to have that dark, don't do this. Okay. Cause it's going to give it a lot more depth. That's why you do this. Okay. So, so I'm going to really do it a lot here in the center because centers tend to be darker. See how that just, can you tell? I hope you can tell how that, you can really see that, how it just gave it that extra, that extra depth. So thank you for visiting Lori's craft room and I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks guys. Have a great day. God bless you.